Ew. Ew. Super close up view of a pole vaulter's hands. Ew. Ew. What's that black hair in there? <laughs> Ew. Hajime! I just broke 200 subscribers and almost 9,000 views. That makes me nervous. There's a lot of people watching me. Ew. Last week was kind of a weird week. It's hard, like stress causes me to feel tired. It's like my head never slows down. It's just energy being wasted. It's stressing about US champs coming up, how to pay to get there. I coach every Sunday and how to manage that with my training without feeling tired. I'll get my poles there, where I'm gonna stay, and I'm gonna be doing uh, high school season of coaching, how and where I'm going to be training, where I'm going to be going for my outdoor season, vlogging and personal time, and how I'm going to juggle, how I'm going to be coaching to make a little bit of money, and how to travel. Money. It's just weird balance in this goofy puzzle that I am constantly trying to figure out in my head. It's wearing me out. I mean, I find inspiration in a lot of weird places. I was reading about Buddhism stuff for a while. This this quote always stays with me, always comes back. It's like, the secret of health for both mind and body is not to mourn the past, nor worry about the future, but to live in the present moment wisely. And it makes sense, because like... Why worry about things you don't have any control over? If I am stressing about the past, it's over, it's done with, what's the point? Or if I'm worrying too much about the future, it's gonna come soon enough. I don't have a time machine. I don't. I wish I did. That'd be pretty awesome, but I don't. And I'm excited for the future. It's just there's a lot coming up. <sighs> I need to stop worrying about. You know how I just said I studied Buddhism just because I thought it was interesting and I was curious about it? I'm a big nerd and I will study and read anything and everything that interests me at that time. I'm kind of like a lifelong learner. And I want to be a master of everything, which is never going to happen, but it keeps me busy. Speaking of that, my master's thesis came in today. The differences in ground reaction forces between pole vault takeoffs that are on, under, and out. This little book took me a year. Don't ever want to do that again. That was not a fun experience I would like to repeat. I tried to get some scientific data on the free takeoff and not just theories about it from the Russians. Kind of cool. If anyone wants to read my thesis, let me know and I'll send it to you. So anyways, I did weights. I hate pause squats when they're that heavy. Wait a minute. I'm gonna change the way I look at this. I'm gonna be a little more optimistic. I love pause squats. They're gonna help me jump higher, up to a new PR. Somewhere there's a blue rabbit missing his foot. <laughs> Pole vault practice on Tuesday went way better. I took that weekend off and felt fresh. Er, I felt fresh er. It just took a while to find six again since I haven't been there in a while. But when I did, everything started to work and I started moving through the poles really nice. And I cleared a 520 bar. For feeling crappy and jumping that high again, it's just like I can't wait until I feel good. Why can't I feel good? I can't figure it out. Stressing me out. Wednesday, me and Carrie didn't decide to go anywhere. We just kind of needed a day to chill out. So we went and picked up her niece, Maddie, again. She wanted to play with the puppies. Whoa! Too much. Too much. <laughs> You're stuck. Huh? You're stuck. Try to walk to Sean. Can you can you come over here? 
Um, she was terrified of the horse mask. my drums and she is way better than I am at them. Yeah, put those back. You do it. You do it. You do it. <laughs> so, so yeah, Maddie was fun. Pre-meet. The pre-meet I did weights again and everything felt fantastic. It felt really light and I think I PR'd in cleans. Yep, I PR'd in cleans and did a ton of squats. But I felt good. Probably don't want to max out or do your max prior to a meet, but what are you going to do? If you feel good, do it, I guess. And feel good. The meet was on Friday. Caroline had the suggestion of opening higher, uh, just to kind of treat it like or a bigger meet that I would be going to, so we thought we'd open at 5.30 to 5.35. I was nervous all day because my warm-ups went terrible. I kept going, Caroline, are you sure? Should I just start at 5.20? Play it safe. I don't feel like I'm out of shape. I feel like I can jump all day. And she was like, let's do 5.35. Uh, I opened at 5.33. Missed the first jump, moved up to the 15.5, cleared it on my second. It was kind of like one of those nonchalant jumps. And then I watched the video. That might be the most height I've had over 5.33 ever, and it was my opening jump, and I'm not okay with it. So it, it was weird. 545, 17, 9, or 10, somewhere around there. Blew through the pole, moved the standards back all the way, blew through it again, went up a pole, and then it just didn't work. Uh, me and Caroline were sitting there after the meet, just like... This is the first meet this indoor season you didn't PR. And I was like... Yeah, this is terrible. Then she just goes... It's kind of weird to feel bummed out after clearing 17.5. And I was like... Huh. Yeah, because like three or four weeks ago... That was my PR. So to put things in perspective, it was a good day. I jumped on, got on the biggest pole I've ever been on again, opened higher than I ever have, and cleared 535 better than I ever have. 533, sorry, 3335. I didn't feel very quick again, but I was moving. I think I need some more acceleration days, maybe some more plyos. I'm gonna add that for two weeks up until US Championships and see how that goes, so it was good. Like always, please subscribe. I love you guys and your comments, so do that too. And also share these and like them. Also, I'm working on some pretty cool things. Possibly some t and s because I don't want to get a real job. This is kind of a fun job, so I'm working on it. I'll, I'll let you know more when I uh, figure it out. Now, for your entertainment, because I haven't done it for two weeks, random stuff of the week. This is a funny story. So uh, I went to the science museum a couple weeks ago, and Caroline says, Well, Sean, you went to the science museum, so I took my kids to the science museum. And uh, Emmett, right away, I think it was Emmett, ran up to the first dinosaur he saw and go, All my friends are dead, too. All my friends are dead. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Wake up, wake up. Call the Coast Guard! This is called an idiot 
convincing his hot girlfriend to do something stupid. Oh, wait till we hit gravel. Oh. <laughs> that was dangerous. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Also, I have this Indo board and it is dangerous and a lot of people have been hurt on it and my mom tried to use it. Bigger stance or littler? Bigger stance for sure. And uh, oh, she was shit. doing pretty good. Pretty good? Oh, <laughs> 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 pretty good. Up until the point where we went to phase two. She could do phase one where your feet are like this and you're teetering back and forth. But then when your feet are like this and you're teetering back and forth, <laughs> it makes it a little harder. Right. And that didn't go over so well. And I could tell that it was going to go bad. And I saw it happening and I was just like, No! Are you okay? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> she ate it so hard, I hurt. <laughs> she was laughing, <laughs> crying at the same time, and I felt terrible because I brought this stupid board back into the house. She's 50. And I put her on this board and she's falling down and my dad just was like, I told you someone was going to get hurt. I told you someone was going to get hurt. I don't know why I made him southern there, but he's not. She's fine. I asked if I could use the footage and Carrie just looked mad the whole time like at me like, You're going to hurt your mom. You're going to hurt her. And I was like, she did pretty good. Stay tuned for next week where there's going to be more randomly goofy stuff that happens. See ya. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs>